usual, Facebook is messing things up again. They have done a lot of things to change how we use Facebook as business page owners. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you use Facebook Creator Studio so that you are able to manage your Facebook page and do all the things that you need to do to make it better. Hi, my name is Desiree and on this channel, I'm going to help you grow your business with better social media and content marketing. Now, a big part of all content marketing comes into planning. So I want you to go grab my content planning worksheet that I have for you down in the description below that's going to help you with making sure anything that you're posting on Facebook is actually going to be effective for you. All right, let's head over to Creator Studio where I'm going to walk you through what the interface looks like, where you can find things, and we'll also do an example of how to post something to Facebook so that you can know what that process is like. All right, welcome to Creator Studio. To get started, let me show you exactly how you're going to get here. You're going to go to business.com forward slash creator studio. And this is going to be the hub for where you manage your content. Now it's not to be confused with ad manager, which is a totally separate part of Facebook. They're essentially think of them as two separate things. You have ad manager where you do all of your boosting and advertising and targeting. Creator studio is where you manage the content that you post on your feeds. Okay, so now let's take a look what the home screen looks like. So on our home screen here, we have our menu over here on the left-hand side. Let's start with home about what this is gonna look like. So this is where you're gonna have whatever your selected page is gonna be. So in our case, we can click here and see all the different pages that I am an admin of or that you might be an admin of. And Facebook is gonna try and put them into collections to make things a little easier for you, like all of your pages or monetized ones or business account ones, whatever it may be. Um, all those are gonna be different based on what you have going on. But then you have all the pages that you are an admin of. I'm just gonna select one so that we have a place to start so we can see what's going on. So you can see here at the top, it's giving me different prompts for different things that are going on. You don't have to worry about that, but we can see like what recent posts are doing on social media. So we can see what our engagement has been like, what our likes have been like. We can have our insights over here. So we know what areas that we need to improve on these numbers aren't always the end all be all. Some weeks we have a good time, some weeks we have a bad time. It's always important to study them though so we can figure out what we can do to do better. Okay, this is also where we have like when we want to create a piece of content. So we can just hit post something and we're gonna get this pop over on the side. Again, you're gonna select the page that you want to do things to and we'll go through that. I will show you about how to post something later in this video, but this is what those are. You can add to your stories from here, you can upload a video or you can go live um, right here from Creator Studio. If you go over here again to the left-hand side, we can see our content library. Our content library is gonna show us everything that's been posted by our selected pages um, over from the newest to the oldest. And we can see what the different information is over here on the side. We can see our stories, what stories have been doing well. Um, if we have those um, linked up and that we're doing anything. Videos that you can cross post. So this is where you can like take this video and we can put this on and plan to cross post this video to somewhere else on, um, on Facebook or uh, Instagram. Playlists, playlists are a really great way for you to group together specific content. As you can see, Chamber and Spotlight is a show, so they put all the videos for that in there and so on and so forth. So by having a playlist, it allows for you to organize your content in Facebook so it's easier to share and find different things that you're doing, especially if you're doing a series. Speaking of series, this is a, a category that you can have in Facebook if you're creating ongoing content that's kind of meant to be episodic. Um, not every business needs to do this, so don't worry if you are not. Now clips, clips is gonna be a way for you to take existing video and create shorter versions of it. Again, not necessary, but you should know what they are. Instant articles, again, another thing, you can create an article very similar to like a blog post and put it up onto your page. Post a timeline, this is where um, you can see what posts you have directly posted to your timeline, as in you've done this outside of Creator Studio. So if we go into my Facebook page, you can see, this is what I'm talking about. We have the posts to timeline. These are the things that I've gone into Facebook directly and I've created a post from here, or I've used a third party tool like sendable um, to make sure that my content goes up. So that is what happens when you see the post on timeline. This is where it's different than the content you schedule in Creator Studio. It is an option for you to post directly to your timeline, but there are some limitations to it. And we'll go over what some of those are when I show you how to post in something in Creator Studio. So now that we've gone over like what our content library is, now let's look at what our insights are. Now our insights are the reporting 
for your business page. And this is where you're gonna see like what you're doing well, what you're not doing well, and where you have room for improvement. Especially if you're doing video views, this is super incredibly helpful because you can see what videos are doing well, what isn't doing well, when people are falling off, all kinds of stuff. So this is really great for you to dive in. So we have performance, we have loyalty, we have audience, and of course we have retention, which is again really important how many people are watching your stuff. Um, and earnings, earnings is if you have a monetized channel. So you don't have to worry about that unless you have a monetized channel. If you wanna know about the video, see the cards. All right, and we can see how our stories performances are doing. Like we can see, oh, these are doing well here um, and go through them and by the day. Now it's important to note that most insights um, when it comes to, to your page is going to be over specific set periods of time. Now, if you wanna really dive deep into different insights, you can go into here and look at it. But for now, um, I'm just showing you where everything is. So now that we're out of insights, let's look at inbox. So inbox is where you're gonna have all of your messaging. This will show up for both Facebook and for Instagram as well. But this is where all those conversations are, okay? Again, monetization, if you have a channel that hasn't monetized, this is where the information will be. Creative tools is gonna be um, where your like live dashboard is and there's like sound um, clips that you can get and stuff like that. So you can use these royalty free um, for anything that you are creating. And then of course we have settings. If you need to change permissions and things like that, you have that here. And then of course resources and then you can kind of pick these specific ones. I'm not diving too deep into a lot of these because I know the Creative Studio is such a beast and I don't want to overwhelm you. So now that we've done a brief overlook of what Creator Studio is like, let's go over like how you post something. So up in the right hand corner, it's like create a post and you can have your options here. We're just gonna create a regular old post. I'm gonna pick a page I want to post to, which will be my own page. You're gonna get this pop up here on the right hand side of the screen, which is gonna let you kind of work through what you wanna do. So I am going to promote one of my videos on I have on um, YouTube. Now, a lot of people say, don't do that, whatever. For the case of this example, I just wanna show you how to post something. So let's say this. So uh, live streaming is has blown up in 2020 and you better believe that 2021 isn't going to slow down. Slow it down. Okay, here are my 10 content ideas to help you plan out effective live streams for your business. Okay, we can say watch here. Okay, and then I can either let it auto-generate the link here if I want to, and I'm kind of can be done if I want. Now, let's talk about, there's different ways and you can do this. Again, just like in the timeline, you can upload a video, a photo, um, you can check in someplace. There's all these different kinds of options depending on what you're trying to do. You can create a watch party for something that you're doing, like a live stream or a video, support a nonprofit. There's so many options. You, know, you can share a video or a photo, and it's gonna let you go to wherever the download is. You're gonna upload a video, it's gonna be the same situation. You're gonna go live, it's gonna take you to a whole different window where you can go into the, they have their live producer area so that you can create your content that way. Okay, so let's just go back here, we're gonna have it. So now previously, when you would post things on timeline, you could schedule them, um, but you can no longer schedule or backdate content on the timeline. So what you're gonna do is go down here and you can hit share now, which means it would post up at this exact moment. Or I can hit this little arrow, I can schedule, backdate, or save as a draft. So I'm just gonna schedule this for a future day. So maybe I just want this to go out, let's just say at two o'clock today. Okay, and I'm just gonna hit schedule and it's gonna go up. And then I hit schedule post and it has gone up. And if you wanna check on it, you can go into your content library, hit scheduled, and you can see that this is the post that is here. If you wanna use drafts, this is a great way for you to collaborate with your team where you can put the drafts up and you can approve them, edit them, and then schedule them to go. Um, you can see all of your posts, you can see all published. Um, and so it's just a way for you to create your content. This is how, what Creator Studio looks like, how you use it, and how you can create a post. Now, if you're wanting to know how you can use Creator Studio since you can manage your Instagram account, you're gonna watch this video I have for you right here, or you know what, YouTube thinks that you might like this video that I created for you, so make sure you check that one out as well. And until next time, I'll see you soon.